Hey loves, it's been a really, really long time since I did a video and it's well past due. Let me fill you in on a few things that have happened. First of all, how are you? I pray that you are blessed and that your day is going well. Today is Thursday, August 10th. Wow. My great niece and nephew have started school today. This is their first day back to school. I am back in Texas. Um, <clears throat> I'm in the Irving, Texas area um, with my sister for the time being as we contemplate the time frame of when we will be heading back to Virginia. Um, my oldest daughter and my middle daughter will be returning to Virginia with me. Um, my time and my assignment was not complete in Virginia and so we are just kind of biding our time and visiting family and getting that time in with family and friends um, while we're still here and enjoying our time at our church home and so forth um, and waiting for my middle daughter to have the baby. So sometime after she has the baby, they have her due date. One day it's December 28th and then the next day it's January 7th. So anywhere between that time, we'll wait a few months after that um, so that we're not traveling with a new newborn. Um, so maybe four months or so um, after that, we three, four, <laughs> will head back to Virginia and connect back with my son who is still in Virginia um, and working. So we are pretty excited about that. Excited that we'll be doing that part of the journey together. Um, they really loved it every time they came to visit. But for whatever reason, they were too afraid to spread their wings, even though mama was there, and make that move and live there. But no sooner had I got back here, than they were both saying, we really want to go stay in Virginia. And my thought was, really? You wait till I get back to Texas? Really? So, anyway, I have the July Soul Sampler. Um, it took quite a while. Um, I don't know if any of you know, they tried a new mailing system and it took a little longer than previously. Um, and they're hoping that in the next month or so the kinks will be all worked out and things will run smoothly as they were with the previous way that they were shipping the boxes. However, um, I had called and given um, the new address for my box to be shipped to me and instead they shipped it to Virginia and it was returned to them and so my box took another week and a half um, minus the glitches that they had in the shipping system that they used um, another week and a half before I got my box so I got my box on Monday but I did not make a video on Monday because I was super super busy so I am making my video today and I don't plan for it to be long because I got somewhere to go <laughs> so without further ado let's get going now I read some reviews of a few people that were not very pleased with the July so sampler box. So I'm really curious to see why. I'm always pleased. But there's a first time for everything. I'm hoping not anyway. So let's see. Alrighty, says Vintage Chick, or Chic, July 2017. I think I'm going to like this one. <laughs> I, I'm a gadget girl, so, you know. Of course, they've got 15% off Moda Fabrics, and this coupon expires August 20th. I don't know that I'll get to use it before then. I haven't used any of the coupons. I'm not even going to front anymore. I haven't used any of them that they sent, and it burns me up. But financially, it just had not worked out where I could use them. I hope to before they decide we're going to discontinue sending those. All right, so first things first. Of course, you all know I love fabric. It's called Snowberry Junior Jelly Roll. 
It's by Three Sisters from Moda Fabrics. A bright winter day reimagined in classic Three Sisters floral prints to create a sophisticated collection that will work in any season. We have hand-selected blues and creams from this group to make, make this exclusive junior jelly roll just for you. It's 100% cotton, includes 20, two and a half inch with the fabric strips, and it retails at $19.98. And I can tell you already, I love these colors. Unfortunately, because they're so girly, there is no way I would be able to use them for my grandson. We're having a boy. So, but I love the fabric. Yes. Those blues are really, really pretty. I can tell you, I miss sewing. I, my, all my stuff is packed up and yeah. Yeah. I'm staying at my sister's. There's really no room for me to pull out my sewing machines. Even with my um, portable table, there's just no room. Um, so, unfortunately, it looks like they may stay packed up until we get back to Virginia. I'm hoping not, but that's the way it's looking. But anyway. Um, three and a half inch aqua dots on white embroidery scissors. Embroidery scissors with tempered stainless steel blades. These cute scissors are designed with sharp pointed tips for thread snipping and cutting lightweight fabrics. Size is three and th um, three quarter inch in length with one inch cutting blade. Exclusive white and aqua polka dot pattern. Retail for $3.98. And I have one other pair of um, like embroidery scissors. These are nice and heavy. I like these. But it did say they were stainless steel, right? Yes. I like these. Um, I have one other pair of snips that they sent, and I call these snips, um, in a previous sew sampler box. And I've always said I could really use another pair or two because I keep them in, I'd like to keep them in different areas of where I'm sewing. So this is perfect, and I love the colors. I don't know if you can see that. That's cute. All right. Clover, and I always love these. Can never have too many of these. Oh, these are tiny though. Awesome. Clover, 20 piece mini wonder clips. These little clips open wide to hold layers of fabrics. A great alternative to pins, especially when working with quilts, handbags, and heavyweight fabrics. The wonder clip base is flat for easy feeding to the presser foot. Each clip includes seam allowance marks of a quarter inch and a half inch. Includes 20 mini wonder clips in blue and red. Retails at $12.94. It says there's a review by somebody named Melanie. Say goodbye to pins and use these clips instead. Flat bottoms make sewing so much easier. Highly recommend this product. Keeps bindings nice and flat while sewing and fabric stays in place. I do like to use these when I'm doing binding. I love using these. But I didn't have any so tiny. Um, all of mine are the regular size and I do have some really large ones. But these are mini. I don't know if you can see how tiny those are. Awesome. So I can never have too many of those. Never. Can never. Pink Daisy <laughs> Pink Daisy Scissor Sheath. It is a fat quarter shop exclusive. Stylish and adorable scissor sheath is perfect for storing your scissors safely. Colorful daisy design will stand out in your sewing space. Made from synthetic leather and will fit scissors with blades from 2 inches to 3 inches in length. Four colors available online. So they have a red, a blue, a aqua, and then these pink ones. And that's cool. Can you see that? And that, it says it fits two to three inches, and the blades on this, the blade on this is an inch. Awesome. 
Awesome. Awesome. I like that. Works for me. Um, that little um, holder retails at $2.48. Rip it away, seam ripper. And you can never have too many seam rippers. I'm a witness. <laughs> this is by Gypsy Quilter. Quickly rip seams with this brand new Gypsy Quilter seam ripper. It is both a seam ripper and a thread remover in one convenient tool. It also features a specially formulated plastic tip that grabs and removes thread without sticking to itself. It has a safety blade that only cuts threads and not fabric. Cool. Size is five and a half inches in length and three quarter inches the blade with a three quarter inch blade. Oh my gosh. Flexible base and wire wrapped blade with clear protective cap. Retails at four dollars and forty eight cents. Awesome. Can't wait to give that a try. Well, I can, but you know. <laughs> Alrighty. Waterford Table Runner Pattern. So Sampler exclusive. Dress up your table with our Waterford Table, table Runner Pattern. The light and dark hues of the Snowberry Collection make this pattern pop. The elegant placement of fabrics create a luminous runner perfect for any home. Finish size is 22 and a half inches by 54 and a half inches. That would be cute. And then it tells you how much fabric additional is needed for borders, binding, and backing, which isn't a whole lot. This pattern retails at $8.98. And there's a YouTube video that goes along with it, which is great. This would be a great winter table runner. Awesome. That really, really make, would make a great winter table runner. And last but not least, basket block number four recipe card. Designed by Lori Holt of Be In My Bonnet. That's there. Now you can see it. Sew along with us each month as we create these charming basket blocks featuring confetti cotton solids by Riley Blake Designs. Pattern contains instructions to make 5.5 inch, 10.5 inch, and 15 and a half inch unfinished square blocks retails at $1.48. And I do like these basket patterns. Can I tell y'all how much I miss sewing? Did I say that already? I really miss sewing. It's hot as the dickens here in Texas. I was not looking forward to coming back to the heat. I absolutely hate Texas for that reason. I've never been a fan of Texas. Other than the fact that my family is here and my church home is here. Um, and I have a few friends that are here. That's the only thing that is so ah uh, for me regarding Texas. I've never been a Texas fan. Um, but I think I've explained the story and how that went 26 years ago. Only supposed to be here for two years to go to school. Ended up marrying and having my family here. Um, and so that is why we were here. And my husband refused to move anywhere further away from his mom. His mom and his family are from Louisiana. And he absolutely refused, I think out of fear, to move anyway, anywhere further away from them. Um, he and I are still separated, not divorced, but separated. And he does regret that now and wishes that he had moved away and if the Lord decides to restore our marriage I'm hoping to convince him to at least move to Virginia for a little while um, I don't plan to stay in Virginia forever the cost of living is excruciating um, and then they have state tax that's painful Texas does not um, but because knowing this I know that I will most likely come back this way not sure if it'll be Texas um, to retire and buy a home and finally, you know, say this is where we'll spend the last 
the latter part of our years. Um, we'll see how things go. I just, I don't see retiring in Virginia or anything like that. Because like I said, the cost of living is, is excruciating. But we are, like I said, planning to make our move back that way. It will be sometime next year. And of course, I'll keep you posted. I do plan to do some switch up in my vlogs and not just make it about the sew sampler. I'm getting ready to help a friend plan her fall garden and set it up. So I plan to do some videos based on that. Um, and who else knows what I plan to make a video out of. It really can't be about sewing right now because I don't have a way to sew. But we'll see. Hey, who knows what God will do with that as well. All right, guys. I have got to get going. I seriously do have somewhere to be. I am about... Mm, 45 minutes late so I do have to get going I will talk to you guys sooner rather than later take care and God bless